Hey guys, welcome back. So, I want to get something done here. I'm just uh, going crazy, not working on this. So, um, some of the things that need to be done are the little things, and uh, might as well get going on them. Okay, so on our canopy here, um, you can see where they kind of put the two parts together. There's some rough spots here that I need to sand and make smooth. And then also, we're going to need to fill, you can see that gap right there. So that needs to be filled and repaired. And same thing on the other side. This side's a lot nicer, but we still have a kind of a void right there. So I'm going to be using the Trusto bon Trusted Bondo over there. And uh, we'll get that all patched up, repaired, and then I'll, I'll prime that. And um, this isn't quite the right color, the color that I wanted for the uh, turkey feathers. So I started sanding off back to the primer all the um, turkey feathers. Um, even though it won't necessarily be scale, I think scale is going to be uh, black because they're using carbon fiber on the turkey feathers now. Um, I kind of like the way that the older uh, metallic um, turkey feathers look. So, And since I actually have an airbrush now, I think we can uh, get that effect. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this all sanded off and then I'm going to attempt to get a little bit more realistic going here. And uh, I'm also going to repaint this because I tried to varnish, burnish, well, I don't know the word anyway, um, didn't turn out right so it looks kind of funky. Um, so I'm going to redo that as well. So that's something I can work on. So I'm going to work on the turkey feathers and I'm going to work on the canopy here. So I'll hook up with you on the next step. Okay, I've got it sanded nice and smooth, um, so I've got a good surface for the uh, Bondo to attach. So I did it on this side, and also did it on this side. So we're going to go ahead and apply the Bondo now. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get it uh, done. Okay, we got our first layer of Bondo on. Um, it's definitely not pretty, but... Uh, all I've got is popsicle sticks right now to smooth stuff out, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more sanding, but uh, it'll still end up with the same result, so that's all we care about. Um, also got this side over here, and so I'm just going to wait for that to set up, and then we're going to kick in some, some sanding. Okay, so I'm still waiting for the Bondo to set up. It's still kind of rubbery a little bit, but um, in the meantime, <clears throat> I sanded off all the uh, paint off the uh, turkey feathers that was there before. So, um, like I said before, the the real one pretty much uses carbon fiber blades now. And uh, I don't know, there's just not a lot of contrast between that and the little rails that the turkey feathers follow. So, um, I kind of want to do the older style <clears throat> F-16 turkey feathers that are more of a metallic. It'll give a little contrast between uh, that part and kind of the dark gray there. So anyhow, I'm going to leave that the same color. But uh, anyhow, so I'll be perusing the internet tonight looking for F-16 turkey feathers and uh, kind of the look I'm looking for. Um, I think at the beginning, if you're following an RC universe or RC groups, I posted a picture of what I'd like to get it to look like, but uh, we'll see how that works. All right. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as that uh, Bondo dries. Okay, here we are with the edges cleaned up. Um, I'm going to have to put a little bit more. There's still just a bit of a, a whoop there. And this side here, this wasn't as bad. But you can kind of see where I fixed that. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and spray some primer on there just so I can really get in and see it before I apply the uh, another coat of Bondo. So that's where we're at. Copy frame here. We've got nice smooth lines. I went ahead and primed it. Here's where our issue was before. You can see that we've got that completely resolved. 
everything looks really nice. Um, if I turn this around, well, I'm just going to grab the frame. This looks really nice too at first glance, but if we go back here, you can see back, uh, let's see if I can, well, right on, let me get some contrast going here, right back there, this part should go straight from right there in that corner back, and it doesn't, it looks like uh, maybe they had some issues molding it up, but so I'm going to have to bondo that and get it so that it's perfectly straight, just like that one there. So you can see perfectly straight. You can see this one kind of whoops down a little bit. So anyway, this is, this is done and it's got a really nice fit. And so I think I'm going to be happy with that. All right. Now back here on our turkey feathers. I don't remember if I pointed this out on the last little clip, but uh, I've got all the turkey feathers sanded off. Now this one's sanded down further than the primer. This is where the seam was, so I was smoothing that out. <clears throat> but uh, So that's ready for more. I'll probably prime that part again. The uh, primer that's on the plane stuff doesn't like to stick to that very well, so and like I said before, I need to repaint this part here. We're just going to start fresh, make it look like it's brand spanking new, and then we can weather it later. So that's where we're at. And I think overall it turned out pretty good. So again, let's show you the detail. Yep, looks pretty good. So my idea for up here to keep this down is uh, we'll definitely have some magnets. Now that won't be the only um, source to secure it, but uh, just to basically make it so it lines up. So we'll either put like a air cylinder or something in there. <clears throat> so that's where we're at and I will see you on the next video.